Okay, everybody, welcome again to the class and we're going to continue. So we're going to start by checking the platform, of course. So this is the, the question for today in the video. So this is the video and we're going to check the homework 2.2. So it's about these little readings and you are going to check right place or right customer. So this is what we're going to do. There are, let me see, around 10 questions for this one, okay? So that is what we're going to do. Very good. And uh, we're going to check the attendance for today. Yes. Hello. Um, do you know the if the really fixed the platform? I'm sorry. Do you know if they re already fixed the platform? O sea, si ya arreglaron la plataforma de la pregunta 2. Creo que no, todavía no. Les aviso cualquier cosa, pero eso se tarda un poco porque mandan un mandan un común request porque no es que nosotros lo hagamos, sino que hay una plataforma para eso. Pero yo les aviso cualquier cosa. Okay. Good. You. You're welcome. Okay, we are going to check then the attendance. So let's see, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Urgarte. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Welcome to the class. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Good evening, present. Perfect. Okay, we are going to continue then with the class. Present teacher. Uh, who's present? Ricardo. Uh, me, yes. Very well. Perfect. Okay, so today we're going to start with the book. So we can move on. Okay, so we're still in unit number one, the distribution channel. So in this page in the number 16, it says, I will be able to provide suggestions to retailer businesses. And the number one it says, let's start. Is it important for retailer stores to know the strengths and weaknesses for the, of the competition? What do you think? Is it important for retailer stores to know the strengths and weaknesses of the competition? What do you think? Yes, it is, it's important, teacher. Because if you know the, for example, if you know the weakness, 
to have the the advantage uh, to to do to do the things on the best way and also the strengths is the strengths of the comp competition are better than mine um maybe i have to made it up something to to make uh, more better very good perfect thank you very much rose yeah definitely we said before right the last class last week so that we need to also understand what the competitors are doing so we analyze our strategy the next one is a very nice question what is your opinion about the following the customer is always right what do you think Is that true? Is not true? What do you think? Do you agree or you disagree? Now, I don't agree with the uh, affirmation, teacher. Why not? Um, because the right is the reasonable of the, the negotiation between both part. In my opinion, now the best uh, model is win to win. You know, only win to the customer because it's important the the good alliance inclusive with the customer. My of course, that's fine. Very good. Yeah, what you say is also very interesting. I mean, a win-win situation, right? When you and also the customer is going to win. Maybe the problem is that there are some customers that they believe that they are right. So what do we do? For example, I was reading in Facebook about a piece of news where there in the US, there was this woman that came into a donuts store and she was very angry because she thought that a dozen of donuts had 60 donuts. And she wanted 60 donuts, now 12. I mean, that is kind of difficult, right? <laughs> you can say, yeah, you are right. It's not possible, right? So, of course, it's not always. Um, there are some kind of customers that sometimes are difficult or sometimes they are frustrated. So that is different, right? Sometimes they need something and maybe you're not the right person to help them and uh, you need to manage the situation. But okay, the customer is always right. Mm. We don't know. It depends. In the most of the cases, maybe yes. In some cases, you cannot say yes just because they say Okay, it says read the accept about tips that successful retailers implement. Then answer the comprehension questions below. Okay, uh, the first one, please, Ricardo, could you please read the first one? Okay. It's a uh, very thing. It's K. She is scheduling time limit. Scheduling. 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 Time limit a daylight. Even as your of boss can help Michael a uh, relative retailer start focus retailer stay focus on or schedule. Eliminate, eliminating, eliminating extra time, uh -huh. eliminating extra time space where it uh, should be. Okay, very good. So it says the following habits are repeatedly observed among many successful retailers. And the first one it says prioritizing is key. Scheduling time limits and deadlines, even as your own boss can help make retailers stay focused 
and on schedule, eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. What do you understand about this one? The time is important. Time is important. For following the times. Good, perfect, very good. Any other opinion? Retail is money in the business. Very good. Yeah, and we need to, to manage everything there, right? Okay, yes, actually, this is about time, definitely. So we need to prioritize. So what is to prioritize? If you have a lot of uh, a lot of things to do, you have to prioritize prioritizing prioritize the, prioritize the the most important. I think that is it. That is prioritizing, right? Uh huh. It's prioritized to focuses. Mm -hmm. Very good. So when you have the, a lot, go ahead. I'm sorry. Third option. Very good. So sometimes that happens to everybody, I guess, right? You need to do a lot of things, many tasks, many activities. But what are you going to do first? That is the question, right? Of course, it's going to be the one that is the most urgent or the one that is going to impact the business more. Sometimes everything is important, right? But if one of that activities is going to impact the business or you are going to lose money or the operation is going to stop, anything like that, well, you need to go for it, right? And then you can do the other things. Let's check some vocabulary here. What is among? Among many successful retailers. What is among? Como ambos, ambos. It's not that, but in English, how do you explain among? Because ambos is both. Both, both. Mm -hmm. both. But what is both. among? Among many successful retailers. Do you have an idea? Or comparison? Yeah, well, you can use it to compare. Yes, that is something that happens. Good. Among is when you are between some between some uh, some members very good mm -hmm. perfect so among is a preposition right uh, and it's very similar to between but the difference is that between is between two two things and among is in the middle of many that is it in the middle of many so among many successful retailer that's many, why many 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 yeah it's going yes. to be uh, uh, yeah in the middle of many in this case many retailers it can be many builders it can be many things so among is in the middle of many things and between is between two things that is the difference it's like okay. it's similar like uh, in company with some something or someone how come like within you say is is similar like you say i'm in company with ah uh, yeah it's something yeah. like that. a company uh -huh. with uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. good okay then it says scheduling what is scheduling horario pro oh, our <laughs> program <laughs> okay very good, it's like a program. That's good, you remember that it's ah, in English, right? <laughs> That's good, thank you. So scheduling is like a program that you have, right? Daily, so you... daily, activities daily, daily. Very good, it might be daily yeah. activities, weekly activities, monthly activities. For example, you need to send reports and things like that. So it's like a program that you have, so you organize yourself, right? So you know what you need to do. Uh, deadlines. What is deadlines? Limit of the day. Last time. Last time. Very good. It's like the last day, the last time, the last hour for you to do an activity. That is a deadline. Okay. For example, we have a deadline for us to do the midterm test and for us to do also the final test. Uh, let's see. Even as your own bus. So, 
that means that you need to prioritize even if you don't have a boss. Even if you have your own company, you need to organize. Can help make retailers stay focused on and on schedule, eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Do you have any questions here? The first one. No questions, good. Uh, Carla Vasquez, could you please read the next one? <clears throat> Letting go is a must. Successful retailers analyze this situation as opportunities to learn, to learn from versus burying themselves up over the more retailers know throw hard day the better they, they are is supporting their customer. Very good, perfect. What do you understand about this one? Um, I think that uh, is, uh, is uh, take take a, a successful or the or the situation and take a opportunity and learn for this opportunity or the some a situation a see the the size and learn for any situation okay very good perfect thank you uh, the title says letting go is a must so sometimes you need to let go businesses right sometimes you can do you can do everything right that happens in real life i mean for us as people uh, for any company i mean maybe you want to to have a lot of money a lot of businesses a lot of operations but sometimes you can't do a lot of things or if you do that one you are going to end up burned you're going to be exhausted you're going to be maybe you are not going to be able to do a good job for the things that you can do so letting go is a must successful retailers analyze this situation as opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves up over so that is the explanation right so sometimes they need to let go or they are going to beat themselves up over, meaning that they are going to be so tired. So not possible to do everything. The more retailers know through hard data. This word data has two pronunciations. I don't know why the Americans, they say data or they say data. I like data, uh, but you can say data or data. That is not a problem. Um, the better they are in supporting their customers. So. That is true. I believe that there are no other words here. Do you have any questions on the second one? Okay, Sandra, could you please read the next one? Training staff is, is Peter. The key is to invest in, in dollars into your employees to read the rewards of strong associates and, and as a result, strong salaries. Very good. So what do you understand in this one? Um, uh, administration uh, detail is, 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 is money money and uh, import associate associate persons and, and uh, in may uh, sells strong very good perfect thank you so it says training staff is vital so that means that training is very very important if you don't train your people your team you are not going to do a very good job maybe you know what to do but they also everybody has to know what to do so yes 
Sometimes you, ne you need to invest time and money, right? Dollars. But it's going to be more expensive. You don't train people and then the, uh, the customers, they go to other uh, company. So it's not training. going to The training may better sales. That is true. So, for example, do you remember that we said before uh, last week, what happens when you go and you don't you ask questions and, and people they don't know, right? I don't know. Yes, it's possible, or maybe not. But when people they know a lot of things and they explain in detail, you feel you feel trustable. You feel that it's a good product, the one that you are going to purchase. And for that one, you need to train your people. Uh, it says, yes. in, mm -hmm. and then it says, into your employees to reap the rewards. To reap the rewards, reap is like to gain, to obtain, to get everything. Rewards. What is rewards? Do you know? I don't know. How do you say in English? Reintegro? Maybe. Mm, it could be something like that, a reward. A reward is like, like the result. When you do something, when you, you, you do your effort and you work very hard, mm -hmm. you have Someone a benefit. Benefits? Like, like a, benefit. a gift. Mm -hmm. yes. Like a benefit, like a prize that you have for yourself. So training. for example. Benefits and training. Yeah. So for example, when you go to the gym, uh, and it's very hard, but after six months of you going to the gym, you start seeing that you look better, you feel better. So that is the reward of all the work that you have done. So in this case, the, the reward is to get all the sales, uh, to have the business operation working very well, if you train your people, of course. Uh, rewards of strong associate and as a result of strong self. Yeah, definitely. That is it. Do you have any questions here? No question, but I have a comment. Go ahead. With, with that because sometimes you, the company prepare many good your employee and then the employee go. That is true. Sometimes some companies, they have very good employees, but they are not happy. They're not satisfied. They don't have the training. They don't have what they need, the tools. So at the end, they prefer to go to other company, right? That's why they do. Good. Uh, let's see, Pamela, could you please read the next one? Yes. Um, knowing that competition is a priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail market, marketplace. Very good, perfect. So what do you understand about this one, uh, Pamela? Well, um, uh, maybe because, um, uh, well, if in different um, uh, market, we know that uh, we, that it's not only a brand has the um, uh, has all the market. And sometimes uh, it's good to have uh, competitors because other brands can also uh, um, know what the other uh, the other brand do to uh, maybe could be better or um, it's I uh, like um, uh, good market when when the uh, in the market has a lot of uh, uh, different um, mark, uh, brands to compete, com competi uh, to competi competition to uh, to have a new clients. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. 
Yeah, this is true. Uh, knowing the competition is a priority. So yes, you know what you want, you know that you train your people, but you need to know also other brands that are similar or that offer the same services that you do. Pricing, methodology, maybe you are not going to know everything because sometimes it's not possible, but you are going to try to understand what they do. If they, if they have a lot of people, a lot of customers, why is this happening and how can, can you compete with them? Then it says this type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends. What is a trend? Anybody knows what a trend is? With uh, with new, new. With new, mm, I need a little bit more. Mm. Es que en Spanish hey. uh, I can tendencia. Uh, uh. Trend is like a it's like a bow, a new, a new. <laughs> oh my god, a new. new. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah it's, when, new. yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, it, it can be something new that is like a trend um, that is like in fashion, right? Fashion. Uh, yeah, yeah. and fashion. also and then, about statistics. Uh, go ahead. More, more, more. Uh, if we speak about statistics that is about business, this is going to be about checking what happened last month, last three months, last year, and you are going to see a behavior, the behavior of customers, the behavior of um, the market itself, competitors, anything like that. So it's going to be like a trend, like statistics. Uh, yeah, for example, nowadays in Twitter, trended topics. Exactly. Are statistic. Yeah, I, I forget. Yeah, the trending right. topic, the famous trending topics. <laughs> hey, that is it's true. So yeah. It's something that right now is like happening yeah. and they are discussing about that. Everybody right is now. talking about. Mm -hmm. Very good. Perfect. Yeah. Then it says missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales, and other ways to stay afloat. What is to stay afloat? Stay afloat is to stay in the top. Don't, don't, you don't, oh my God, you don't, I forget the word. Increase company, increase company. Okay, very good. Yeah, to stay afloat is like to keep on competing, right? To keep on working, to keep in business, to stay in business. So in this case, it's to stay afloat. Sometimes... Be competitive. Be competitive. That is it. So sometimes it's difficult, right? Markets are difficult, for example, for pandemic. For, for a lot of businesses, they have to, to do a lot of changes so they can stay afloat and not close the business. And then it says in the competitive retail marketplace. Mm, any questions here? I believe that there are no more. But do you have any other questions? Okay, Nelson, could you please read the last one? Hello, Nelson, are you here? Maybe he's getting some coffee. Okay, Mayra, could you please help us with the last one? Yes, teacher. Shipping uh, store inventory is okay. Stocks of all mer merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customer versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to customer trends, work with vendors and respond to what customer want. That is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. 
perfect. And what did you understand about this? I think that uh, we need to refresh the mer merchandise based on the customer consumption strength. If a product does not sell, it must be removed from the market. And, the, and we need to change the strategy of the sale. Perfect, that was very, very good, I liked it. So that is something like that one, right? So you need to sometimes check and re enter new inventory, change things. Changes are, are good. I mean, some people might believe that it's not that good, but yeah, I mean, you need to analyze what is going on with the product. And as you say, Mayra, you need to remove the ones that are not that popular and bring some other. Change continue inventory. That's it. So you need to. Depending yeah, depending on what people want and also depending on what the new products like, come, right? Like the, like the customer. Very good, perfect. Shifting, what is to shift? Change. Change, very good. Is to change one for other thing, right? Yeah. Good. Uh, inventory, success. merchants, what is a merchant? Yeah. Products? Products are merchandise. But what is merchant? Me, marketing. Oh, the marketing. Oh, the merchants are the people, so they are retailers. Mm -hmm. So merchandise is the product, and the merchants are the people that are retailing in this case. Okay, and it says are willing to shift their inventory. What is to be willing? I am willing. We say I am willing to learn English. Nobody, nobody knows it. Okay, to be willing is like when you want to do something. When you uh, are going to, for example, when you go to a job interview and somebody says, uh, are you willing to work on Saturdays and Sundays? So maybe you are not happy about it, but you are willing to do it. You would like to, um, to do it because of the job uh, and that is willing, okay? Let's see, to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Listen to customer, react to customer, consumer trends, work with vendors and respond to what customers want. That is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Very good. Do you have any questions here? No questions. Good. So we're going to check the questions below and we're going to try to answer them. Why are scheduling time limits and deadlines important for re to a retailer? What do you think? For, for me, teacher, they are important because they help retailers stay focused on a schedule. Very good, that is nice, very good. Any other opinion on this? He say it's very important to stay focused and on schedule. Very good. So it's very important to stay focused and stay uh, on time on everything that you need to do, right? So time is money. Number two says, why do sales become strong when retailers invest in training employees? Because the employees know know the oh my yeah know oh. the know the product in a best in a best way, and yeah. they can support you with any yeah. question that you make it about the product. For example, with technologies, yeah. uh, if you invest uh, in a in a training, 
the employee uh, will have to the capacity to to explain how the product functions. Very good, perfect. That is it, right? So uh, remember that everybody is going to be able to do a better job if they know what they have to know and what they have to do. So they are going to be helping other people and consumers in the best way possible. Number three, what is a good way to get to know the competition? For this question, based on the text, is analyze the trends, missed opportunities, and new strategies to complete for sales. Very good, perfect. So you need to observe, check what is going on, and then adapt yourself, get new strategies. And the last one says, how do retailers become able to effectively buy inventories for their stores? It's very important listen, react to consumer trends. That is very true. We need to uh, listen to our consumers, to our final customers to check what they want and which products are better for them. So what else? Work with vendors. Work with vendors is also good. So, and also get feedback from them, right? And remember that you can also shift inventory. So sometimes we need to change the inventory in a way that we're going to have the best options for the customers. Okay. Um, we're not going to do that. Let me see. Uh, well, we're going to change and we're going to go here. So this is a little reading also about distribution channels today. So we're going to continue reading. Let's see. Nelson, please uh, read the first part. Okay. <laughs> I often speak and write about how best to stand out from the competition this year. I have been delivering many keynotes, events, and some workshop for company with distribution channel or direct sales organization. No matter, no matter how, how you describe it, indirect selling introduced the challenge of channel. When you sell strong channel, you get some great benefits and have avoided fitfall fit in order to achieve success and end with the great mistake business made with their channel partner. In my prior business, we were a channel partner and we have channel partner for all products. I hope to help to, to do avoid some of my biggest blunders. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. So this is a little introduction. This is a person that was working for a distribution channel. And he said that he, well, the company made some mistakes, but now he knows what mistakes to avoid. So it's like a little introduction. And then it says channels provide reach. Uh, let's see. Gloria, could you please read this one? Okay. Channels provide reach. We were a sentient ordinary window it's three months for our newly new line renove, renovate renovated renovated home it will not be <clears throat> practical for the manufacturer to sell direct directly to each and every <clears throat> home home owner owner home owner home owner so the leverage a sales channel. The channel could be a, a home improvement store or, or direct representative. In their case, the manufacturer is cutting their uh, living food. Livelihood. Come Livelihood. Livelihood in the hands of the third, third party who has as access to the co customers. The channel representative sells the product and then orders from the manufacturer. 
even better, the channel partners take responsibility for installation. The company that manufactures the blind does not have to mission to blinds, make the self or install the product. They just guess they they just get to focus on what they do best. Uh, and the channel pro provide from the connection between the product and the customers. Very good, perfect. So for everybody, what do you understand here? This is something that we discussed already, but let's see what you got it. Anybody? Yes, I think I understand that is is something like when you have a frank franchise, you have to you have to my you have to you have to be um, you have to be the best. Oh my God, can, how can I explain? Oh my God. When I have a franchise, it's the name of the company that I'm, that I'm selling. And for the people, for the customers, I have to do my best uh, attending the people. I think, for example, in this case, the, in either case, the manufacturer is putting the livelihood in the hands. For example, is the livelihood is is putting my my existence or my life i don't know in in my hands if i attend uh, the people or the customers in a good way they they love the brand and they come to my store or also another store in another place but they they will be recon recognize them the brand yeah, I understand. Very good, perfect, thank you. Any other opinion? So it says channels provide reach. That means that it's very difficult for a producer, a manufacturer to go in and sell to, to every homeowner, meaning every individual that wants the product. It's much better for uh, people to do uh, to get a partner, to get a channel of distribution. And uh, so in that way, you are going to, if you are the producer, you are going to focus on what you do best, that is to create the product. And the distribution channel is going to do their best also, that is going to be to get that into the consumers. Uh, let's see, the next one is for Ada Patricia. Could you please read this one? Okay, teacher. Channel challenge, challenges? When you go through a sales channel, you are hey. making a con actually is the other one channel, channel no okay. local markets. Yeah. Excuse me. Channels no local markets. In my clear business, we have channel partners throughout the world. They knew the local custom had established relationship and know and knew how we need to adapt our product to meet the new of local business. Our partners will make things happen in order that would otherwise have take use months on years. Assuming we could have ever learned everything we need to, to know. They had already established trust in the market. So the customer will generously pass the fruits from our partner to use. Okay, and what did you understand? Uh, everybody, what did you understand about this one?
In the title, I believe that you will find the answer. I mean, China's no local markets. So that everybody, means- uh, Everybody knows the, everybody has to know the competition. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the thing is that imagine that you are a company that you sell to the world. I mean, uh, what can I say? LG, if you are going to buy a, a TV, a cell phone, something from LG, they don't know anything about El Salvador, right? So they are there in their country producing things. And what they do is they trust in the distribution channel at the end that they know yes. how, how is the market here, right? Sell me, it's going yes. to say something. In this case, teacher, the partners have a lot of experience uh, about the market, about the service related to the the customer and the knowledge is very important because uh, because it's key for the strategy to to give to the customer the or, or how do you say complete teacher accomplish accomplish the expectative of the clients very mm -hmm. good perfect thank you so that is it, right? So uh, the companies that are huge, large company across the US or Europe or anything like that, they need to trust in the distribution channels. Of course, we discussed before that they need to do an interview and check if you are the right distribution channel, but then you need to trust that the partner is going to do what you need to be done. And uh, the last one is going to be for Ophelia. A channel, a channel, a big you host, turtles are channel, you are marking, I costing, a decision, I to have some, some airmen, elects taking responsibility for sending you product or service. A you, I don't know has, I do incur. I did labor, I cost, I bust you, I with his up marking channel has getting on says us is su Swiss. Okay, and this one has a uh, second part here. So this is it, right? I I'm going to read this part because it's a little bit cha larger. Channel uh, challenges. When you go through a sales channel, you are making a conscious decision to have someone else take responsibility for selling your products or services. So you know that they are going to sell your products or services. Channel have their own set of issues. So the first one, it says, they will never be as passionate about selling your stuff as you are. What do you understand about this one? They will never be as passionate about selling your stuff as you are. Anybody? Uh, me, Sulma. Go ahead. Uh, when you have a channel, uh, they have a, your own a personal or a, yes, a personal and a, the compromise that they have is different, probably. If you, eh, ay, ¿cómo se dice? Como si, si usted mismo vendiera el producto. As you do yourself. Yes. Very good. Actually, that is it, right? I mean, yeah, maybe you are going to find very good retailers, wholesalers, distributors, but nobody is going to love your product the way that you love your product because you create the product you believe in that one and maybe the other ones they are going to do their best but they for them it's just another product so it's not the same 
the next one says where where there is a potential overlap, you'll find channel conflict. You might give a partner specific territory, let's say Arizona. Then another partner who has New Jersey has a client who also has an office in Arizona. So this might be a, a problem if you have a very large company. So if you have many partners in the US or in the world, sometimes there might be a conflict. Sometimes pricings are different. Sometimes um, customer service is different but the product is the same. So that may cause like a problem with the consumers that they don't understand what is going on. The other one Teacher, says- Teacher, one ahead. question. The expression, the stuff, is a good expression. Stuff, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can say the stuff. It's like your things. Okay. Things, yeah. Yeah, good. Ah, okay, thank you. You're welcome. The last one says that there is inherited competition. Most channel partners do not exclusively carry just one company's product. Instead, the way channel partners succeed is often by selling multiple products in a single visit. So that happens, right? As we say before, you love your product and you treat the product as your baby. But the retailers, the wholesalers, they have many products. And for them, it's just one more product. They are going to do their best, but it's not a special product. It's just another product. And for you, that might be a problem, right? It's like, mm, I don't know. This is not that good. It's not the way that I would like this to be done. Good, perfect. Do you have any questions on this? No questions or maybe too many questions. Okay, we're going to check the attendance because almost it's almost nine already. So let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Perfect. Okay, so we are going to do something different today. Let's see how it goes. Uh, let me check. Which one is this? Hold on a second, let me just choose the car one. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. I don't know if you have done something like that before, but we are going to give it a try. Okay, please get your pen or pencil and paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a little dictation. Okay, when we finish the dictation, I'm going to show you on screen the paragraph and you are going to check if you made mistakes and analyze why why this word 
I, I, I was not able to, to write it correctly or things like that. Okay, I'm going to go slow. At the end, I'm going to read the whole paragraph. Remember that when you are writing a paragraph, it should make sense, right? It's, it has to be logical. So if one word is similar to other word, of course, you are going to use the one that is according to what we're talking about, according to the topic, okay? So are you ready? Do you have pen or pencil and paper? Yes, pencil and paper. Yes, yes. Any questions before we do this? How do you say dictate? Dictation. Dictation. Dictation, yeah. We're going to do a little dictation. It's also related to the topic. So some words might be new, or maybe you say, oh, is this word that I don't know? You can ask me how to spell it. Of course, it's not possible for me to spell all the words, right? So maybe two or three words I can spell, okay? But if you tell me, please spell that word, of course I will do that one, okay? So, here we go. Uh, also, uh, before we move on, I'm sorry. Um, if there is punctuation, I'm going to say that one, okay? You know what is comma, and you know what is period. Hey, let me see, uh, what else am I gonna use? Uh, do you know what is colon? Colon and semicolon, right? Parentheses, brackets, quotation marks. Good. So, hey, let's make it. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. If your list is long, if your list is long, If your list is long, comma, treat your distribution partner, treat your distribution partner treat your distribution partner Search like, search like, search like a marketing campaign, a marketing campaign, a marketing campaign period, even if it's short, even if it's short, even if it's short, even if it's short, comma, practice your Pitch. Practice your pitch. Pitch. Pra pitch. Pitch. Do you want me to spell pitch? Okay, I will do pitch. that. Pitch. Okay, pitch. here we go. It's going to be P as in Peter, I, T as in Tom, C, H. Okay. Pitch, okay? So, practice your pitch diligently. 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 Diligently, period. You may only You may only, you may only get one chance. Get one chance. 
Get one chance, period. Apart, so it says period and apart. As you're designing, as you're designing, as the? you're designing, as you're designing, your pitch as you're designing your pitch comma remember to focus remember to focus remember to focus on the needs on the needs on the needs of the company of the company of the company you're pitching. You're pitching. You're pitching. Period and apart. Here are some things. Here are some things here are some things to consider to consider to consider column consider to consider column Okay, apart please. Um, number one, what's your message? What's your message? What's your message to the potential partner? To the Potential partner. Excuse me, teacher. Uh -huh. What's your message? Oh, yeah. What's your message to message. the potential partner? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what's your message to the potential partner? Question mark. What are the key? Second. No, it's the same. It's the same. What? Okay. Yeah. What are the key? What are the key benefits? What are the key benefits of working with Keep. you? Keep. Uh, yeah. What are the key? Key. A key. 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 Uh -huh. What are the key benefits of working with you? Of working with you? Question mark. Number two. What are the benefits? What are the benefits to the partners? What are the benefits to the partners and dash customers? And dash customers. 
dash is also a hyphen. Do you know what is a hyphen? Hyphen or dash? So it's going to be end hyphen customers. What, what are uh, Question mark. Uh, no, I missed two more, okay? Number three. What kind of marketing? What kind of marketing? What kind of marketing support? What support kind? double P. I'm sorry? Support double P. Yeah, double P. Yeah. Good. So what kind of marketing support will you provide? Will you provide? What kind of marketing support will you provide? Question mark. And number four is the last one. Number four. What type of inventory? What type of inventory? What type of inventory are you able? Are you able? Are you able to provide? to provide to provide if they're interested if they're interested if they're interested question mark okay that's it I'm going to read the whole paragraph so you can check, okay? So here we go. If your list is long, treat your distribution partner search like a marketing campaign. Even if it's short, practice your pitch diligently. You may only get one chance. As you're designing your pitch, Remember to focus on the needs of the company you're pitching. Here are some things to consider. What's your message to the potential partner? What are the key benefits of working with you? What are the benefits to the partners and customers? What kind of marketing support will you provide? What type of inventory are you able to provide if they're interested? And that's it. Now comes the moment of the truth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you there on the screen, okay? Check the vocabulary, check the way that you wrote things. If something is not correct, you can circle it and you can check how was it. And it was this one, small one. Um, so as you can see, it says, if your list is long, comma, right? Treat your distribution partner search like a marketing campaign. Even if it's short, practice your pitch diligently. You may only get one chance. As you're designing your pitch, remember to focus on the needs of the company you are pitching. Here are some things to consider. Here I say I say to you one, two, three, and four because I want you to separate, okay? There's no numbers, but it's okay if you wrote the numbers. What's your message to the potential partner? What are the key benefits of working with you? What are the benefits to the partners and customers? What kind of marketing support will you provide? And what type of inventory are you able to provide if they are interested? Okay, I will give you a few minutes just for you to check.
Okay, uh, I guess you're still checking, right? I'm gonna wait a little bit more. Did you finish checking? Not yet? Yes. Okay. okay, question for everybody. Who made the dictation perfect with no mistakes? Anybody? Okay. Who has five or less mistakes? Me. Good. Me. Perfect, that's good. That's good. If you have a lot of mistakes, don't worry. That is not a problem. Sometimes what happens, oh, well, let's discuss about this. Why do you believe that there are some words that you did not write it correctly? Why? In your In my case. In... Okay. No, Rafael. Uh, campaign. Uh huh. Uh, teacher, how do you say, I don't know, uh, uh, signal the, yeah. Uh, the punctuation the mark. So, uh, yeah, that is very common. Uh, example, uh, yes. For, yes, for example, so, dash, column. Uh -huh. Yeah, those are very important. When somebody's dictating, uh, well, I, I always do this. I always say the dictation, uh, the punctuation. So anybody knows. But sometimes if you don't remember the name of that one, sometimes you write the, the name of the words and that is not good. But that's why we're practicing, right? Because maybe in the future you are going to need anything like that. Okay, any other person? Why did you make mistakes in some words? In the word diligently? I use to L. Oh, very good. And yeah. the and the word peach, I use peach fruit, not peach. It's good. Ah, okay. Okay. Got I it. use peach. Okay, like peach. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Uh, any other opinion? Why? Why do we do mistakes sometimes in dictations, for example? In my case, teacher, when you pronounce your, I write your like a pronoun. Mm -hmm. The possessive pronoun. Your. In my ah, case. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, your yes. and they, your <laughs> and their. That was my mistake. My mistakes. Very uh, good. Actually, that when is, you, uh -huh. go ahead. When you pronounce needs, I list, uh, I think that we made mistake because, because we are not. Um, you are not used to listening. That is true. That the, is that the reason? Because we are not used to, to pay attention, to listen, to listen something carefully. Very good. Yeah, sometimes that happens. You know, the classes here, uh, when it's online and Zoom, sometimes uh, teachers, they come and do the grammar and do the the book and that's it. But sometimes we need to do these kind of activities uh, because you need to challenge yourself, right? You need to challenge your ears. Uh, the two most common uh, reasons for mistakes in this kind of activities is that sometimes there are words that are very similar in the pronunciation, like, like the one that you say, your, uh, your, uh, it might be like your pitching or your, 
and the difference is very, 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 very slightly. I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult, that is difficult and it's normal, okay? Um, and well, yeah, pitching, it might be a noun as well. Yeah, that will be a potential error. And the other one is sometimes about because of vocabulary. Sometimes you we listen to a word and we say, what is that word? I don't know that word. Or it's similar to this word, or maybe it's this way. So sometimes that happens. But you have a lot of vocabulary. I mean, so uh, to have just a few mistakes is, is very nice. Uh, did you like this activity? Do you want to repeat this activity in the future? Yes. I really like it. Yes, yes. OK, yes. good. Yes. Next time, next time I'm going to bring a dictation that is not business related. It's going to be different, OK? to check other vocabulary, other words. Perfect, perfect, good. So now we're gonna move to the presentation. Okay, so, uh, let me just change this. I'm gonna put this. Teacher, how, uh, how do you say error de ortografía? Um, you can say misspelling. Misspelling. Misspelling, yeah. Yeah, if we have the time, uh, go ahead. Uh, you were going to say something else? No, okay. Uh, yeah, if we have the time, because we have a lot of material to cover, but if we have the time, we're going to do some other dynamics for us to check into this kind of activities, okay? So by now, we're going to start about logistics. This is unit two already and we have the seven R's of logistics, okay? So there is not a specific order, um, but here we have the number one is the right product. Of course, that is important, right? To have the right product, not only for logistics, but for the whole business is very important to get the right customer, the right condition, the right place, the right time, the right cost, and the right quantity. So question for you, my friends, what is logistics? Is the order. Okay, the order. Okay, can you make the stuff? Okay, order for you to make some stuff. Uh, very good, any other opinion? Is the Sorry. Is the process of, or managing uh, resources, uh, for example, uh, I have the, the point A to the point B, and it it's, um, oh my God, how can I, it's, it's in, it's involved the transport transport uh, um, oh, uh, to the final destination. Very good. Yeah. So yeah, it's like the the way that you organize processes and procedures so you can achieve something, right? And you need to go step by step and analyze the whole procedure and processes, uh, tasks, things like that. Very good. Okay, uh, we're going to check about the seven R's of logistics. So let's check here. So here we go. Uh, let's see, Adriana, could you please read the first one? Yes, teacher, a right product. While designing the manufacturing, selecting a product, the organization should look into potential insults that can arise, 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 arise during transportation. A special packing, packaging requirements, for example, can arise from the products white or pulp, its shapes or its fra fragility and distance of transportation. Product when designing properly will greatly facilitate 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 logistics 
if they ensure a certain level for standardization in the product. Measurements during this, the design will make packaging, warehousing, warehouse, warehousing, 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 product handling and transportation considerable easier. Very good. What did you get into this one, Adriana? What do you understand? And, and, and it is a point is very necessary and that know the product for the needed transportation and that uh, what transportation that need the company for the for the mood the product very good perfect that's nice perfect so the first r is the right product so when we are going to uh, create a product and we're going to go into business, we need to think if we have the right product so we can make business. It says, while designing, manufacturing, or selecting a product, because remember that this is for companies that are wholesalers as well, the organization should look into potential issues. This is very important. So just before you think of transportation and logistics, you need to think about potential issues that can arise during transportation. So before the problems come, before the problems happen, you need to sit down and start thinking what might be happening. For example, imagine that you are going to, to transport uh, furniture. For furniture, what problems can we have? What issues can we have? What do you think? Maybe the furniture is too big or is um, it's too heavy. Very good. Is, that is one problem. How do you say delicado is? Uh, is uh, delicate, you can say that. Delicate, yes. Maybe it's the possible the damage. That is a big issue, right? So uh, maybe those are the two biggest issues, the size. So you need a way of transportation that is, is very big. And also in a way that nothing gets damaged, okay? Because you are going to get in trouble. But what happens if what we're going to transport are fruits? What are the issues that can arise with fruits? That temperature. Temperature. The temperature, the transportation. Very good. That is important, right? What else? Also, the way that you put the package. Uh, oh my God. Uh, one above, one above. Uno encima de otro. I don't know. You can say above or, or one and yeah. on another. Yeah, one and on another. Yeah, you can put uh, some uh, much. I think maybe one, but no more because the fruit can be apachurrado. <laughs> I don't know, teacher. It can be damaged, yeah. Yeah, so it can mature. be damaged, yeah. Very this, good. Teacher, hmm? teacher, in the case of the fruit is a perishable product, it's very important to try the product soft because it's very important that the product uh, and her her destination good. That is true. I mean, it's very important that at the end, in the supermarket or in the market or in the stores, the fruit that you see is like, oh, this is delicious in good conditions. And it's uh, to the right at the right time. So it's, it's going to be very important. So that's why you say special packaging requirements. So depending on the product, that's the way of the package that we're going to use. For example, can arise from the product's weight or bulk. That's why what she was saying, what Rose was saying, that the weight, sometimes you, even if you have the space in the transportation, you cannot put a lot of uh, weight into one package, right? It's shape, fragility, 
distance of transportation is also important. I mean, it's not the same to transport fruit from San Salvador to Santa Ana than from San Salvador to France, right? That the conditions and the distance is going to be totally different. Uh, for a teacher, or for example, there are other products that is very wet, but is soft too. For example, the um, flour, how do you say, losa? Mm, like the, the floor, uh, floor bricks. Uh, floor bricks, yes, because there are, it is wet, but is delicate because uh, the floor is easy break, but there are her, uh, the weight is, is heavy. That is true. So depending on the product, the transportation is going to be, and not only transportation, but also the packaging and many other things like, so it says product when designed properly will really facilitate logistics if they ensure a certain level of standardization. Standards are very important in logistics, right? You do the same way it, things. Uh -huh. the, the time is very important in the logistics for the different products. That is true. So in the products measurement, what is a measurement? Anybody? The what weight. Is... The weight. Weight. Very good. Or the, uh, the, the, the size, the weight. Um, what else? That is true. The size, the weight, the distance, uh, things like that are important, right? So measurement are like, for example, in time, we measure time with with hours, with minutes, and things like that one, right? My cat is running away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, during the design, we'll make packaging, warehousing, product handling, and transport considerably easier. So if we design the right product with the right packaging and the right things, it's going to be very, very easy to handle many other things. Let's see. Osmin, could you please read right customer? Okay. okay, teacher, right customer. The right customer is about finding the customer and creating an awareness about our service. The great challenge in, in below, in, 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 in the world be to identify solution on finding the right customer will be to do market research and insight into one when we are suspend suspense to target then as per that budget on marketing strategies strategies to employ 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 to that the right people now about our products. Product. Our product. Es que me dice que no, no, la, la, la pantalla no, no la agarraba bien. Oh, don't worry, take your time. Eh, me pongo varias letras. Excuse me. I'm sorry, okay. sorry. Don't worry. Okay, so yeah, the right customer is also very important. It says the right customer is about finding the customer and created an awareness about our product and services. What is awareness, do you know? Um, like conscious life. Knowing that something exists. Conscientes. Okay, very good. <laughs> So to be aware is like that. It's like, I know this exists and I know how it works and I know everything about this, okay? Uh, and then it says the greatest challenge involved in this will be to identify the customer to be targeted. Of course, right? I'm going to design a product. So who is going to be the one who's going to handle, consume, purchase, manage these things? 
the solution to finding the right customer will, uh, there is a mistake, will, a will to, be, to be a market research. A market research will give an insight into whom we are supposed to target. So of course we need to do a research, right? And check how it's going to be everything there. Uh, let me see. Uh, then as per the budget, one will choose which marketing strategies to employ so that the right people knows about our product and how to access the product. Uh, what is a budget? The money you have. Yeah, the money you have uh, targeted to do something, right? This money is for this, this other money is for other thing and so on. That is it, employ, let's see. Mm, well, do you have any questions about these first two R's? I think it's okay. Perfect. So let's move on. Uh, let's see, the next one, uh, right quantity, please sell me. Right quantity. The right quantity plays a key role in logistics. If we don't meet the demand of product, we will ultimately lose some chains of making money. Also, if we have excess quantity, our warehousing, expenses and other associated expenses will increase. So the production must be in a balance to cutter. Cutter, yeah. The demand and must not make huge inventory costs. Perfect. What did you understand on this one? That is very important to manage the adequate quantity of the inventory because the excess of the inventory is a, it's not good because increase the expenses of the operation for the business. Very good, perfect, that is true. Uh, the right quantity means that you cannot have a lot because you are going to have space, which is money, right? You are going to spend money on the space. Uh, you are, uh, I mean, it's not good to have a excess of something, but also it's not good to have a few because yeah. also you need to have- You lost loss sales. Exactly. In a huge inventory is possible the obsolete inventory and impairment inventory is not good too. The both extreme is not good. <laughs> That is it, very good. So it's, what you say is perfect. You need to have not the extremes. Extremes are not good. You have to have the right quantity, a margin, right? Where you can have this, the less, this is the most that I can have. Let's check some vocabulary in this one. The right quantity plays a role, a key role in logistics. We don't meet the demand on problem. Let's see. There's also we have excess quantity, warehousing expenses. Uh, I don't think we have any cater. Do you know what is to cater? Catering is very common in the US. Cater. It's providing. Providing, very good. To provide something according to what is the need. And uh, well, the other one is not. There are no other words. Uh, right condition, uh, please, let's see. Rafael, could you please read right condition? Okay. The right condition in logistics is about the safe delivery of the proposed product. The quality of the product should be maintained till the time it reaches the, the, the end user or the customer. The distribution strategy should be such that it is, that it is preserving the quality of the product without increasing the overhead cost. Very good. What did you understand on this one? Uh, one point is the quality is important. Uh, yeah, the quality should maintain 
uh, all the time. Very good. So, uh, other oh. important point is uh, what uh, strategy do you use or do you practice? In this case, it's a preserving preserving the quality of the product. Very good, perfect. So, yeah, the right condition means that through all the process, since the very beginning when you are handling that in the warehouse until the moment that a customer comes and a consumer comes and purchase the product, it has to be in the right condition right? The right packaging, the right way. And for some products, it's more difficult. As we were speaking, for example, about fruits. I mean, transportation of fruits is, is something that you need to take in consideration, not only the distance and not only the way of the transportation, but also the conditions. Are you going to, I mean, am I to, uh, I don't know, to transport ice cream, right? that is something that you should have like special, special trucks with freezing conditions. So you can transport that one and it doesn't get rain. So every product has different situations. The most important is that all business don't want overhead the cost. That is true. So everything is money, of course, of course, you have to have the right condition, the right transport, the right packaging. But all companies, they have, uh, they they want to to spend the least of the money whenever they're doing this. How the budget, but the but it's transportation, the one more cost, additional cost. Of course, and also remember that at the end, the ones who pay these costs, everything is a final consumer, right? When you purchase a mango, you pay for a lot of things from the agriculture, from the um, fertilizer that you put, from the people that is taking care of the plants, and then from the people that takes the fruit and everything, everything that you pay for is included there. Of course, nothing is for free, right? So whenever you purchase any product, you are purchasing a lot of procedures and processes. So that is also kind of interesting. Let's check the next one. Okay, so this one is going to be the right place. Uh, this is going to be for, uh, let's see, Flor de Maria. Okay, teacher, right place. The, the demand for your product may vary depending on geography and demography and, and other factor. It is necessary to understand from doing extensive market research the exact place that needs to be targeted. A certain areas might have demand for the product, whereas the other areas may not care about the product at all. Offer choosing the place it is important to choose a distribution strategy that could satisfy the demand with without oversupplying or undersupplying the product at any goodbye point. Perfect. So what do you understand about this R? And I think the is very important in the place, the location. in other factors and how the market maybe very good perfect thank you so it says the demand for your product may vary 
depending on geography and demography and other factors. So as we were saying, it's not the same to distribute things here in El Salvador than in the US, than in Mexico. So the conditions are different, of course. Uh, what is geography? Here in this paragraph, what is geography? What is this about? Maybe when he's talking about geography, he's talking about the country. That is it, right? So there are, even for the condition, there are some countries that are very cold. So you will be able to transport things in different ways. Demography, what is demography? The people. People, the people. depends in, in on- Downtown. In downtown, the city. Yeah, so demography is about the people that depends also on the way that they are going to treat our products or things like that. Uh, and it says, it is necessary to understand from doing extensive market research, the exact place that needs to be targeted, right? As certain areas might have demand for the product, whereas the other areas might not care about the product at all. So that is very important. That you are there, going to- there, there are demand. Yeah, you are going to sell the product where there is demand. Where there is demand. Mm -hmm. So you sell all your products, right? Good. After choosing the place, it is important to choose a distribution strategy that will satisfy the demand without oversupplying or undersupplying the product at any given point. So that is very important as we discussed before. The last one, uh, the right time is going to be for, uh, let's see, um, Sulma. Okay, right, right time. Time is very essential, even if everything else in the process is done accordingly to entire process. Can fail is that timing is not right. For example, it is essential to have the products on the shelves on in stock are the right time to character to the demand if the product demand is not met at the right time it might be a loss to competition timing is everything in this form of business it is important to make a schedule and stick to it in order to facilitate a smooth and efficient functioning Perfect. What did you understand on this one? Uh, you need plan all activities in the process. Uh, you need to have to plan and if you can, you write step by step uh, that you need to do. Okay, very good, perfect. So time is very important in logistics. It's one, maybe it's the most important thing because it's about, everything is about time. The time where you move out of the warehouse, the product, mm -hmm. the time that is delivered to the warehouse of the wholesaler, for example, everything is very important. So. Here it says, time, uh, timing is very essential even if everything else in the process is done accurately. The entire process can fail if the timing is not right. What is accurately? In a correct way. Very good. In the precise way, precise. right? Very, very like mm -hmm. that. Uh, and what is fail? What is to fail? Timber when, in the process. Yeah, when the process is not successful, right? When something went wrong. Good. 
And then it says shelves. What are shelves? Shelves are there. <laughs> in English, how can I say in English? When you put the, the merchandise. <laughs> Very good. That is it, right? Like little tables, sometimes yeah. there are. Metallic. Metallic, <laughs> metallic. Uh, shelves where you yes. put everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. That was very good. What is to be in stock? Inventory. Inventory. Yes, per. Very good. In stock means that you have inventory available for the customers to get it, right? Uh, let's see what else might be last competition, business, schedule, stick to it. Mm, I believe there are no other ones. Smooth. What is smooth? Softly. Yeah, very nice, right? In a very yeah. nice way. Perfect. Do you have any questions about this? Not teacher. Okay, perfect. Now we have time, a few minutes for free speech. Let's speak about, let's see, pandemic. What happened? Uh, well, I, I know that that was very difficult for some people. I hope uh, everybody and your family was good through all this time, but let's speak about pandemic. Do you believe that pandemic will finish this year? No, I don't I think don't, the teacher. I don't. I guess, I agree. I, I don't know. They finally find them, find them. Okay. Why do you believe you the pandemic is not going to finish yet? Because I have a, a new variant in China. Yeah, right. There are in many. China and around the world. Yeah, very good. Uh, my perception, I don't know if you believe that one, but my perception is that now everything is like normal, right? Uh, it's like nobody's talking about that that much. I sometimes I walk on the street and I see people without any mask walking on the street. So it's like, okay, whatever, right? Uh, why do you believe that happens? I mean, People don't care anymore. Maybe these people think that they are safe because they have the vaccine, I think, or maybe it doesn't matter. And the people said, nothing happened. It's okay. But for us and for me, it's so strange to see people without, without the mask in the street. <laughs> okay. Very good. Any other opinion about this? It's possible that the pandemic uh, uh, will be extended for one or two years more because the, the COVID are, the, the variant is less, Let's a strong, but I think that no finish now. And I, I, I hope don't, it doesn't a new pandemic because it talk about that in labor, laboratory. Laboratories work in a new virus, but I don't know is is the hair or right. Okay, do you believe that the worst has happened already? I don't know, but all can be. Yeah. Maybe. If yeah, when the pandemic began, we all information 
was new in general. But I agree with Carlita that the variant is possible to change the effect. And now it's possible that the vacuum, vacuum, vaccine, 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 the effect of vaccines impact in, in, the, in the people. But I am not sure, but I believe that the pandemic continue and one or two years is possible. The, uh, the other phase, endemic. Mm -hmm. Endemic now. Endemic. But in this moment, in my opinion, we continue with the pandemic. Okay. Yes, I, I yes. agree with you because the vaccine was a good uh, effect in the, in the virus because I think that vaccine was a uh, uh, less strong the, the, the virus. Okay. It's a pandemic, pandemic not finished for, for people. It's a bad, bad uh, restriction. It's a, mm, no hacer caso, como sería? Sería, do not follow uh, the rules, or do yes, not obey. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, woman, woman is bad, is a, uh, Mm, danger woman okay the, the problem the problem i see is that uh, we have a normal life then when there there are ho holiday holiday with for example they uh, contagion i don't how do you say contagion Conti get contagious yes. or get contagious and uh, up because all all forget that there are pandemic and take a life normal take a life that is true and i i've heard sometimes we we uh, check some I, I really like to check the news because i really want to know what is going on in the country and in the world but sometimes you see crazy things like for example i was reading i don't remember when that there was a case of corona dengue oh. my, my goodness i said what is that <laughs> so it was yes, a combination of but did you did you listen to that one yes i listened oh I listened. my god in it's fact, new for me in I, fact, I, yes <laughs> In fact, in the hospital children's um, uh, bloom, uh -huh. there are many cases for a coron coronavirus with, with dengue in the children's. That is not good. Mind to have that thing, two things in one. Teacher. Mm -hmm. What happened is that uh, um, I I have um, well I see more video information um, in the internet. I I I follow uh, any any doctor me. Um, I have the information the in Chinese and each day uh, uh, do do experiments experiments. With, with the virus, the, the, the coronavirus, and the pen in the Chinese, uh, uh, one, uh, there are uh, any doctor, doctor, she doctor, she doctor, this experiment in, in, in the, is the nickname is Dr. Murcielago because uh, they have uh, 20 years in the experiment uh, when, uh, uh, in the space in in the, the, the Murcielago. In the moment, uh, HD uh, uh, experiment when different virus. And for me, I think the, the, the pandemic no no end in the moment. Yeah, let's see how it goes, right? There uh, are many there are many theories for for this pandemic. 
Yeah, a lot of people, they say many things, right? So, yeah. yeah. Bishop, uh -huh. I, um, maybe and um, believe and um, have faith oh, the pandemic it. finish in next year. Maybe next year. Okay, good. Yeah, it might be good, right? I have a question for you. Are you getting the fourth dosage of the vaccine? Excuse me, teacher, repeat, please. Yeah, are you getting the fourth dosage of the vaccine? Uh, in, in my opinion. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I think are near. Well, they said that you can get the fourth already, right? Um, I only I, have I only have two. You only have two, okay? Yeah. But in January this year, I I got the the virus. Ah, okay. It was yeah. very strong. It was hard. Um, it's. Um, I think that no, only that my throat mm -hmm. and with a how do you say those cough. Oh ah, huh. yeah, it's only that. But it was it was strong, but. How you feel, okay? Okay, mm -hmm. that was very good. I'm very happy. Yeah. Oh. I have three dogs, but I think I put the for the the fourth that is available yeah. already. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see how it goes. We hope nothing bad comes again, right? Every hundred years, approximately something like that happens. So I don't know. I don't know. There are many things that I believe that was not never going to see. I mean, the, those things were on the books, right? But you never believe that it's going to happen to you. But here we are. And uh, sure. the good thing is that we can continue. Go ahead. It's a net uh, pandemic. It's a zombie. COVID. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, let's be careful. Uh, yes, right? yes. New, new <laughs> okay, my friends, I'm going to check into the attendance so we can finish. Um, it was a pleasure to be here with you. Um, do you have any questions from the class of today? No, teacher, for me, it was, was an excellent class for me. I, I know, I have to know and I have to, I have to learn more vocabulary because I have, I have many ideas, but I can't explain because I don't have the vocabulary. <laughs> But that's good. Whenever we have the chance, try to explain. You do a very good job explaining things. Sometimes yes. it's difficult. Yes. I know that it's difficult to explain what is this, right? Yes, because I was remembering a, a, a training that I have about logistics. And they speak about the manage of the product, the oh, many things. And I have to remember this, but in English. <laughs> yeah, that is the thing. So we have to to think in English and transmit, but you're doing a very good job. So we can continue with this one so you can uh, practice. Hey, sir, today was nice class because uh, you did a combination. Combinat <laughs> okay, we're gonna finish right now, but I'm very happy that you're happy with the class. I, I try that. I try to combine things so it's not the same class every day. So let's see. Uh, Ada, Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present. A usted le toca el 101 ahora, Guadalupe. Okay. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta okay. de Miranda. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Kill teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto Gonzalez Ventura. Present. Good night. Good night. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodriguez. 
Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher, sorry. Present, good night. <laughs> okay, good night. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. <gasps> William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Perfect. So my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. Have a very good night. Dream in English and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Good night. You. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, good night everybody. Okay, hello, well, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good. Nice. It's tired, right? Because today is Monday. Yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, I believe you have experience in this kind of one on one. So the first question is uh, Do you believe that you are learning, that you are moving on? Uh, a little. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I understand, but I. I can't uh, express uh, in comfort. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but this is, uh, these classes are, uh, sometimes we read a lot and so it, there is, it's a lot of material, you know. But whenever mm -hmm. you have the chance, you can speak and you can say your opinion uh, so you can practice, that is the most important. Also, I will be doing these activities that is like speaking about any other thing at the end of the class. So it's going to be easier to speak about any other topic, okay? Okay. Uh, do you have any questions about any topic from this module or the other modules that you saw before? No, no, uh, only the, the um, como re repetir las, las clases para entenderlo un poquito más. Ok. So mm -hmm. you watch the videos. Mm -hmm. Ok. That's a very good idea. Sometimes, um, well, for first of all, if you have questions in the class, if you don't understand anything or a word, if you see a word that you don't know, you can ask. Ok. okay. And I will explain or the class is going to explain. And uh, also remember that you can send me messages on the group on the whatsapp group or uh, to me directly so i can i can okay. answer any questions and and in the uh, maybe the main objective is for you to practice you can speak anything uh if you don't understand anything or if you want to provide an opinion you can mm -hmm. speak okay and uh well so in the you say that sometimes it's difficult for you to, to speak. Is that the only thing that is difficult for you or to listen, to write? Uh, what is, where do you believe that you need to improve? Um, only this, this, this speak, this claim. Mm, but okay. the, the, I understand the, the, the speak. So when you're listening, you understand very well. Mm -hmm. What about mm -hmm. writing? When you write, everything is fine? Yes, um, maybe the, the confused the, the word, maybe the H, uh, beginning, T, or inverse. Okay, very good. What about the dictation that I made today? How was it? How do you feel it? Uh, I, only, I had maybe six or seven euros. That is good. Six mm -hmm. or seven is nice because sometimes this kind of vocabulary is difficult, right? It's not, it's not like the normal vocabulary that we have in a daily basis. So that's why sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. But if you have like six, that is, is fine. Okay, that is fine. And for you too, well, do you practice with somebody else's in English? 
um, some time with my uh, partner in, in, in the world. Ah, okay, so you, they are also in class. Mm -hmm. uh, a other mode. Okay, that is mm -hmm. very good. So if you have the chance to speak with somebody else, even if you do some mistakes, don't worry. That is a very good exercise that you need to continue doing so everything is fine, okay? Okay. Very good, perfect. So um, uh, do you have any other question? Anything that you may want to discuss? No, teacher. I, I like the, the the class because the, the last uh, teacher, uh, a lot of meeting with the, with the partner, uh, I got a break. I I less the the time. Okay, very but good. But in this in this uh, model, I like the the class. Okay, perfect. I'm very happy mm -hmm. about that one. So, uh, any suggestions, any feedback is also welcome. And as I was telling you, if you have questions in class, you can ask me, or uh, in chat also you can ask me, and it will be a pleasure. Okay. Perfect. So, well, Lupe, if uh, is there any other thing that I can do for you? No. Perfect. So it was a pleasure to be here with you and uh, see you tomorrow. Have a very good night. Thank you, Teach. Bye-bye mm. now. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.